Hello and welcome. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for another card making tutorial. Today I'm sharing a Halloween card. It's very simple but a little bit something different. I'm using the Spooky Cat stamp set along with the Woodlands embossing folder. I have a panel made of vellum that I'm going to emboss to look like some trees. If you have not embossed with a folder before, it's a good idea to plan out exactly how to load up your Big Shot die cut machine. Make sure that you take away or flip the right panels to give you an embossed image. I'm going to use this piece that now has trees and add some spooky faces in between the trees. This idea came to me whenever I looked at this stamp set and it looked like there were just some eyes suspended on the silicone sheet. So I thought, wow, that looks like those eyes are peeking out from a dark wood. <laughs> so there's where the idea for this card came from. I'm using some silver embossing powder and I'm very gentle with the heat gun. I do not want to scorch or warp this piece of vellum. Any kind of adhesive will show through vellum when it's attached to cardstock. That's just the way it goes. I like to use many glue dots positioned strategically to try to hide as much adhesive as I can. But honestly, there's always going to be some adhesive that shows through the vellum. I have reconciled myself with this fact, as I'm sure most of you have, and I just try to do the best that I can. The sentiment is written in a really nice font, and I thought for it to say trick or treat, would be a little something different from Happy Halloween. As this little image of the eyes, the spooky eyes that are appearing out from the trees, are a little bit of a trick-or-treat type of theme. This sentiment is going to stretch across the entire area of the front of the card. I'm adhering it down with some foam dimensionals. Basic black baker's twine comes in a black and white stripe and this is going to be perfect for the gray and white color scheme. So I wrapped it around the card a few times and then I will just be tying a simple bow and trim it down with my snips so that it doesn't hang off of the area of the card. Then the card front will be attached with Stampin' Dimensionals. The inside of the card is kept very easy with a, another sentiment of the spooky eyes, but I, I left the whole thing this time instead of just using the eyes. All of the products that I have used for this card today are available in my online store. I do appreciate all of your support with your purchase, and I thank you for choosing me as your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thanks again for joining me today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day!